Hi everyone, it's Luke again. Some of you have a question on how to print multiple images out of FastStone Image Viewer. And uh, I'm going to show you how to do that today. So basically, from FastStone Image Viewer, you cannot print multiple images uh, in one step. You have to go through uh, another step first before you can do that. And uh, the step that's involved is uh, to build what's called a contact sheet and then print that contact sheet. And basically, a contact sheet is just uh, an image with uh, other images in it as thumbnails. And you can customize it to uh, have as many images or as few as you need. So this is how you do it. So let's say that I have this uh, uh, collection of images that I want to print, but I want to get, uh, let's say, four images per, per sheet of paper. So what I would do is I would select all of the images I'm interested in printing. Let's say it's these. Then I go up to the menu and click on Create, and then select Contact Sheet Builder, and then this dialog pops up. And what you'll see is a bunch of options, uh, but the important one is to set the size of uh, the sheet that you want to create, which is really just an image file. And there are some default settings in here that works fine. You can certainly change them. For now, I'll leave them uh, on the default. The next section is to uh, establish how many thumbnails you want on each page. And right now the default is to have six thumbnails going uh, across and eight thumbnails going down. So six columns by uh, two, eight rows. Okay? And there's some spacing and other things here. Um, and then on the output, you can select if you want to create an, a JPEG, a PDF, or others. I'm going to leave it as JPEG. If you don't check this box, it'll just drop it into your uh, current folder that you're looking at, which may be fine. But you can check it and type in or browse to the one you want to put it in. And then, of course, you can change the name. I usually don't check this. I let it go into the same folder. And the other one that I don't check is this one. Uh, it's checked by default. It's uh, What it'll do is that it'll just open up this folder back here when it's done, but it doesn't open it in FastStone Image Viewer. It opens it in Windows Explorer, so another window. So I don't need that either. I'm going to uncheck that. Now, I said at the beginning I want to make a 2x2 two two, uh, um, contact sheet so that there's four pictures on the uh, page. So two across and two down. So what I'm going to change is I'm going to change the column to two, and I'm going to change the rows to two. And it gives me how many images it's going to create based on the pictures that I selected. So when I'm done, I just click Create. And it'll go through and it uh, processes uh, what it needs to do. And it's actually not that, that long. It goes pretty quickly. The more images you have, of course, the uh, longer the process will take. But for a reasonable collection of images, it's... Uh, it's not that bad at all. So we're on number six right now. And it's done. So I'm going to go ahead and close this. And there are my contact sheets. Okay. So if I open one, you can see that there's uh, four images per. And you can see that on these contact sheets, you have uh, borders and shadows around each one and file names underneath and all of that jazz. If you go back into the Contact Sheet Builder, I'll just select some images, Create Contact Sheet. You can see that uh, in here, you have a bunch of options. So example, Border, you can turn it off. Shadows, you can turn them off. Okay. By default, it does put a title, which is the, the name of your folder, on the top, which is this little variable right here. You can change it as well. You can put anything on that sheet that you want. Uh, I'll let you explore it, but once you're done, you can go ahead and just print this image just like you would normally, and then you'll have all of your images, as many as you want, on one sheet. So let me do another one quickly without borders. Uh, let me pick six, uh, two, four, six, and uh, make one that has six images without any borders, without the shadow, and to get six on the page, I can either do two columns and three rows, which makes sense if it's a portrait, or I can do uh, three columns and two rows, but I'm going to make it two by three. Uh, I'm going to change this to something else so that I don't overwrite my files. 
create. So what I should get, I'll still get the title, but I'll get six images now without any borders. So here you go. Six images, still have the title, no borders. All right, good luck, play around, and uh, hope you find this useful.